Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel ADME. Recently, uh, in my previous video, I reviewed about Samsung KU 6400 UK model or KU 7000 US model uh, uh, to use it as a PC monitor. Uh, now, uh, this uh, uh, TV doesn't come with a, a 3.5 mm auxiliary out or 3.5 mm uh, aux out jack. Uh, so it can't output analog audio uh, and uh, it can output the audio via toss link optical audio toss link and it can output up to two uh, linear PCM uh, uh, channels and so uh, I, with this setup obviously I needed to connect it with my audio interface uh, so I can get the audio out of these left and right uh, speakers. At the moment, uh, these left and right speakers, they are connected to my audio interface and uh, my audio interface is connected via USB to my Mac. All my other devices that are connected via HDMI to this uh, TV monitor, uh, the audio of my PC is output via the uh, uh, TV speakers and uh, the audio of Xbox it's output via the TV speakers which uh, is not the ideal way I want my sound to be output because I use these professional uh, studio monitors for for my sound uh, so what I did I searched online and I found this DAC converter uh, for six pounds on eBay in UK so basically what it does is it takes optical audio input or coaxial audio or uh, digital audio input and then converts it into analog audio uh, and it can output it via uh, RCA phono jacks right here or via 3.5 mm. Uh, so now uh, I'll tell you what is the main advantage of using this with this uh, monitor. Obviously I'm not using it as a TV uh, so if I haven't got uh, a AV receiver with my setup how I'm gonna get uh, this TV to output uh, analog audio and this is the answer this uh, small little box uh, which converts uh, digital audio into analog audio uh, so it's shipped with uh, it's uh, it's it's a metal housing and uh, the main reason I purchased this one because this has got Cyrus logic uh, audio DAC converter chip digital to audio conversion uh, uh, digital to analog audio conversion chip and Cyrus logic it's famous uh, to be used by uh, big companies like uh, Harman Apple and many other uh, big companies that uses Cyrus logic chips uh, for their DAC conversion uh, okay uh, so it's only shipped with uh, a power cable which is one end is the power side it's DC 5 volts and the other end is USB so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the USB I'm gonna power it from my Mac because I've got spare USB ports on my Mac and second thing what you're gonna need is an optical cable uh, it's called toss link cable uh, connected to the toss link optical output port on your TV and then go to settings go to sound select speaker uh, if the select speaker is on TV speakers then you're not gonna get audio out of your optical output or if it's on Bluetooth audio you're still not gonna get uh, audio so you just make sure you put audio out optical and close this okay so once you have done that setting this TV monitor Connect the optical cable output from the TV monitor to SPDIF toss link optical input on this uh, DAC converter. 
now uh, the digital to analog conversion it can do is up to 96 kilohertz sample rate and 24 bit which in my opinion it's very good uh, i mean you would see uh, very less content out there uh, on the internet or even on uh, blu-rays and stuff that is uh, master date uh, 192 uh, kilohertz uh, audio uh, sample rate so once you have uh, done the optical connection and uh, the power uh, connection then get a RCA phono cable male to male and uh, now I'm using a gold plated good quality one this has cost me around uh, 10 pounds in the past and the optical cable I purchased it for one pound of eBay uh, but uh, for this I'm using the gold plated one because it comes with gold plated RCA phono outputs for the analog so I'm just gonna connect the white end into white which is my left it fits in well and the red one into the right like this and now I'm just gonna plug this into RCA left and right inputs on my audio mixer and the USB cable I'm just gonna connect it to my Mac to power it as I connected it you guys can see that there is a LED uh, that turns on uh, that shows that it's uh, powered up uh, there you go have a look okay alright guys so this TV is capable of putting uh, uh, 96 uh, kilohertz of sample rate and 24 bit uh, uh, linear PCM two channels from its optical output uh, so uh, I'm gonna uh, play a track which I recorded uh, uh, on my logic uh, on my Mac and uh, 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 I bounced it in 96 kilohertz sample rate and uh, 24 bit so I'm gonna play it first from my Mac and then the same track I'm gonna play from the USB I've connected to the TV uh, just to give you guys a reference like how it would sound from the Mac directly and how it would sound uh, from the TV uh, and then the audio is carried by the optical and then converted uh, into analog audio and going into my audio interface uh, so let's just start so this is the track and uh, uh, I'm just gonna play the entire track uh, you guys can forward it uh, at any time you want just to check uh, the uh, mid high uh, or low frequencies uh, how it would sound but I'm just gonna play the entire thing okay <music>
Alright guys, uh, so uh, this was playing Why Am I Mac and now I'm gonna play the same track from uh, USB which I have connected to the TV. And all the levels on my audio interface, they are the same. guys uh, so uh, this was just a reference test of the same track played directly from my Mac and then I copied the track onto a USB a flash drive connected it to the TV and then obviously the TV was outputting the same track uh, the same sound signal from the optical which was getting converted by the DAC adapter and then it was inserted in my audio interface so i kept the levels at the same uh, for both mac incoming audio and uh, for uh, the uh, uh, tv incoming audio at same levels and output at same level as well uh, so it would give you an idea like uh, the same track uh, recorded in 96 kilohertz at 24 bit how it sounds from your computer or how it sounds from the TV if you are watching uh, like the uh, TV connected uh, to the aerial or the TV connected to the DVB-T tuner uh, the dig digital cable tuner which this uh, TV has got built in how it would sound uh, okay uh, so that's the reference test I basically uh, they decided not to put a, a, a auxiliary a analog audio output from this TV because I believe that's uh, the way it's moving forward unfortunately uh, the manufacturer first one was Apple to take it off their uh, iPhone devices and now everybody is following the trend uh, and I still believe there is no alternative to analog uh, audio because digital it's all uh, converted into sample rates and using bit depths and, and uh, that to me is kind of like a compression uh, but uh, that's the way they are moving forward and uh, uh, 
this is the solution if you want to connect all your devices like your pc uh, to uh, this tv or like xbox and you want the audio to be output from your uh, stereo monitors or studio monitors then this is how you would do it with this particular model or with any other model that supports optical output uh, now uh, there is a design flaw uh, hardware wise with this tv i don't know what samsung they were thinking uh, when we, they were designing this because i tell you what it has got three hdmi input ports the hdmi one is the full bandwidth port 2.0 port hdmi 2.0 port that supports uh hdr at 4k resolution at 60 hertz now the uh hdmi port that is arc which is audio return channel a on this tv is port number three so like let's say if i have a uh, AV receiver at home and uh, I've got like 5.1 or 7.1 channel setup uh, stereo uh, surround sounds uh, setup with it and I uh, and that AV receiver is capable of outputting 4k HDR at 60 Hertz uh, and uh, I take a output from it and connect it into HDMI input one and then uh, I'm connect like like let's say uh, uh, TV aerial to this TV directly or USB to this TV directly and how I would send the audio return to the AV receiver from the USB and uh, from the TV aerial uh, to the AV receiver via uh, HDMI audio return channel because my AV receiver is connected to HDMI input 1. It's not connected to HDMI input 3, uh, which is not full bandwidth HDMI 2.0 port. Uh, so th to me, that's uh, uh, a design flaw in the hardware. Uh, Samsung needs to take care of this uh, hardware design flaw. Uh, because I told you the reason why uh, they need to address this issue. Uh, Alright guys, uh, hope you have liked this short video about uh, how to connect the digital to analog uh, conversion uh, box uh, with your audio interface uh, and with this TV. Uh, hope you have learned something uh, from today's video. If you have any question, then please ask in the channel and uh, I'll get back to you guys in due time. Uh, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye.